Howdy, howdy. So what we got here is a 2013 Range Rover. Starter kit. You can take this and you can build you a whole new one. <laughs> uh, this is a theft recovery. Um, I know from my, you know, my experience with meddling with this junk, this is a Dallas impound yard. So somewhere in Dallas, this thing was stolen, stripped. Dallas, city of Dallas recovered it, went to the pound. The pound um, called the owner, called the insurance company, however it is. The insurance company called Copart. Copart picked it up, and Copart ran it through an auction. And my boss is a junk man. Y'all know the deal. So here's this perfect starter kit. 2013. Um, look at the quarter panels. We're good. Carpet needs vacuumed out. But this is the perfect time to vacuum the carpet. All the seats are out. <laughs> and actually, uh, can y'all see the um, the zip strip right there hanging? It had the fob. It had. I can't believe that. It still had the fob for the vehicle. And... Uh, the yard guy, I told him, I said, man, you better go ahead and cut that and put it in your pocket and put it online or whatever. He's, he's going to list it. But, man, them fives these days are like, some of them are $100, $65. I think we looked at one of them. But, yeah, here you go. This is a, this was also a, a chop shop theft recovery. This was a 2017 Silverado. If y'all can see it. It's there. <laughs> but, um, what? What? I'm just teasing a little bit. We got out. Hey, Friday night, Friday evening. Might have live at the bus station. For real, folks. But no, this is, this is, this is pretty cool. Most, I mean, I, I, I recognize these numbers and how it's written and all that. But, yeah, this is a theft recovery deal right here. I didn't think too many people were stealing these things. You know, I was thinking more like Chevy trucks, you know, Ford trucks, that kind of stuff getting stolen. Because, you know, these, these vehicles like this, they got these VIN numbers on, like, a lot of European stuff or... Uh, Man, they've got VIN numbers all over these freaking things. Like, you, like you'll see the VIN number, like, stamped here. And then, like, uh, sometimes I see it, like, on the inside of the quarter panel. I've seen the Volvo. They do that. There's a, the VIN numbers right in the back on the – I mean, I, I see it a lot. And then sometimes you can even see the VIN number etched. Now, I think that's an aftermarket uh, deal where you can get that done, where the dealer will do it for you also. But they do, like, a I, – I see that a lot. Yeah, so it was auction day. That's our big boy. That's, that's the biggest loader we got. That's big boy. Let's see if I can find the rest of that uh, 20, that other rest of that Chevy truck. So oh, here's another part of the um, 2017 Chop Shop Chevy truck. But actually, you know, so you look at them three pieces over there in this one this one actually still has value on it oh my gosh my roommate needs that rubber freaking boot that or the pedal cover dang i hate to do that though yeah these um these pedals go bad see the days of just the regular old cable are over god that's silly look how complicated the freaking gas pedal is Jeez, that's why everything's so expensive because it's all freaking over engineered. I don't know about you. I push my foot down and there's a cable connected and it moves and it goes. I, I don't understand why we need all this now. How did this improve my life? How did this super complicated throttle pedal improve my life? There you go, folks. 2013 starter kit or Land Rover. <laughs> Jeez. Chop shop.
I'll be careful and be kind. Good God, what happened to that blazer over there? Jeez Louise. God almighty, I was about to shut it down. Boy, that's awful. Dang. Y'all hear the train? Train's about to, that big old, that's not thunder or lightning. I don't know if y'all, if the camera picked it up or not, but what in the world happened to this blazer? Jeez. It looked fairly clean up until the car accident. Folks, y'all have seen in my videos where I try hard and hard to fold this stuff to, you know, to try to get it all fit in the crusher. There's a ratchet strap. God almighty, what happened? Oh, look how clean this back carpet is. I wouldn't take anything off this truck. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I hope, I mean, it looks awful. Maybe, maybe somehow everybody, you know, made it out. Or maybe it was just parked. Maybe it was parked and a tree fell on it. We don't know. Dang, look at those tool trays. Those are pretty handy. Those are real handy. Dang. I don't see any real, there's, I don't see any tears in the seat at all. I don't see anywhere that they did the, the jaws for life. I don't see no airbag deployed. Right? No, no airbag deployed. Um, I don't know. Hey, the DOA folks, that means date of assignment. That's not dead on arrival. It's, it's what the... It's what Copar did their, that's their, the date or whatever they received it. I don't know, folks. I really don't think this thing was like in a moving wreck. I don't. Jeez Louise. You know what's going to happen? I don't, I don't have a laptop to create my own thumbnails, and it's going to pick this as the... <laughs> 2013 that was what I was that was what I was gonna call the video I should have left it at that I was gonna call it the see look here here's some look there's mud and dirt and grass oh what if it rolled over or dang anyway anyway thinking too hard on it thinking too hard on it thinking too hard on it All right, folks, let me try maybe if I do one more little shot on it, <laughs> YouTube will pick the right freaking thumbnail. So here you go, one more time, 2013 Land Rover Starter Kit. Let me know if you're interested. Cowboy Car Crush. <laughs> Y'all be careful, be kind. <laughs> oh, it does come with a fob. Thank you.